I am growing out my pixie cut. Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel. My name is Janona Ray. Make sure that you guys subscribed if you haven't already. Let's just get straight into this. So I have officially combed out my curls. Okay, I've combed it out. Let me give you guys a 360. Yeah, so this is how big my hair is. So I officially got my cut 11 days ago, less than two weeks ago, and I've decided to grow it out. I'm going to tell you why. So originally, this is not how I wanted my cut to be, um, to be 100% transparent and honest. The day I got my hair cut, I knew that I had a limited amount of time to sit on the chair and when push came to shove at the end of my appointment I couldn't stick around and really assess what my hair looked like I was able to look at it um I was able to run my fingers through it it looked cute I saw what I can work with and I walked out because my husband needed to go to work or so I thought and so I went home whatever I was looking at it I was like okay it's cute you know, she had trimmed down my sides. She had done this design in the back, which pretty much you can't really tell anymore because my hair grows out really fast. So this week, the second full week or almost full week on Sunday that I got my hair cut, I've just been, you know, playing with my hair. I find myself wetting it more often than not because I'm not really loving the frizzy look with this type of cut now when i do wet it you know my hair is more compact and when i use a denman brush or use my fingers my curls really pop but if you know me and if you've been following my channel then you know that i like to wear different styles and i did know that getting a pixie cut I wouldn't have as much freedom to do as many different styles because the cut would be limiting my ability to do as many styles as I would if my hair was long. But I knew that. So in the span of almost two weeks, I have washed my hair several times. And I have also done, I believe, two wash and goes. And so far, I'm just not really loving the way the cut looks don't get me wrong my favorite part about this cut is the fact that i can run my fingers through my hair it is not super tangled it feels amazing it feels soft i, I can just literally just you know just go like this and it just feels amazing um styling my hair is super quick i can define it without a problem um however once it starts getting frizzy i just don't like that so um i'm going to grow this out i'm growing out my undercut as much as i said i would keep it for two years honestly i really do not like my undercut with this cut now like i said originally this is not the type of cut i wanted i wanted more length in the back and then i guess i also have like a unrealistic thought process in my mind because now i did have a lot of curly ones this one specific curly one that i fell in love with but again because my sides were shaved and because the back was cut too short my curls weren't able to curl the way i wanted it to curl I mean, i'm not blaming the stylist i gave her my vision and then i also told her to you know get creative and let her do her thing but when it came to push down to shove the second week of having this cut i'm just not in love with the shape of it i don't regret cutting it all off 
And I mean, I also explored the fact that I would have my hair undefined like this, but I can wear it out like this, but I don't like it. So what I'm going to start doing is just trying to play with different styles and see what I can achieve. Some days I really like it. Like when I come off straight out the shower and I curly, it's like, oh, you sexy bae. And for me, I don't like being limited. I mean, I wanted enough length so that I can do twists, twist outs, flexi rods even, you know, long enough so that I can curl it and all that. I but honestly, I'm not inspired to do any of those styles. Now, once my hair grows a little bit longer, especially in the back, because right now, as much as it curls a little bit, it doesn't give it the full curl action that I'm looking for. Now, I don't want it to be too long but i want it to be long enough that i can like pass the denim brush and my hair curls because if you've seen my previous wash and goes then you see that this curl right here these this bunch is different from the sides that are very very short and also the back so i just wanted to come on here and just share with you guys you know me growing out my cut and the reasons why I wanted to grow it out. If you can relate, leave me a comment. Let me know down below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to hit the bell so that you never miss a notification when I upload a new video. But I also wanted to squeeze in a little length check. So as of right now, 11 days later, okay, I will insert a picture of what my hair looked like when it was fresh. But my undercut is already growing out. As you can see, the design that I have has grown out. Okay. So this part is short. It doesn't go anywhere. It's short. And this part right here, we're going to just pick a little bit of hair right in the middle. And this goes right here. Now, this side isn't really going anywhere, but I really just wanted to show you. This is how long my side is. This is how long both the sides are. This is how long the front is. So pretty much like right here. And then this side is pretty much just short. So I would say this goes like right here. And this side as well. It goes like right here. So that's a quick lens check for you guys. Um, I'm not pouting. I'm not super duper upset, but I've made my decision, so let's get this growing process started. Once my hair is fully even all around and I've grown out my sides, maybe, just maybe, I may cut it again and go shorter and possibly try to achieve the look I wanted. But if not, we'll see. At this point, my hair is growing out. It's fresh. My hair is healthy. So let's just, let's get it. All right? Peace off, positive vibes always.